Hello everyone, this is John with GetPCSecurity.com. In this video today, we're going to review the Data Shield feature within Panda's Global Protection Security Software. Uh, we've already reviewed the, uh, the portal for uh, Panda Global Protection in another video in the playlist here. So if you want to see the whole video, uh, you can uh, click over to the playlist and look at that video. Uh, as always with these videos down at the bottom here, and I'll, I'll mention it at the end, if you want to go ahead and, and download the trial and purchase the product today, there's links down below the video here uh, where you could do so and save up to 50% today. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. So uh, Data Shield is what we're talking about here. This is a great feature that Panda has added in their product here. Uh, basically, Data Shield within the product, which comes with it, uh, offers an extra layer of security against malware and ransomware um, from those attacks that uh, uh, you know try to steal or delete or encrypt your data on your on your of your own data and then hold it ransom right or maliciously just destroy your data. So what Data Shield does is it um, allows the user uh, to define a location of data and to protect it as well as to grant access permissions. Uh, of the programs to go within and access that data. So let's take a look at it. So uh, if you know the portal at all, uh, I'll just click quickly scroll over here. Uh, in the actual software, there's lots of features here. It's a feature-rich uh, security package, but um, that's in another video here. So Data Shield, there's a couple ways to access it. There's a tile here, Data Shield. You can also go up to the Start menu and go down and click on uh, Data Shield as well. So once you go into it, we've set it up already. Uh, it's telling us that you know we do have it turned on. There's no suspicious attempts to access my personal data, uh, which is great. Up here in the settings, uh, go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click that. So when you first uh, set up Data Shield, though, it will take you through a very easy kind of walkthrough wizard-like uh, motion to actually activate the data shield component within the software. So we've done that very simple, um, which is a couple of clicks. But when you first get into the software here, uh, the feature within the software, um, the first thing it's going to show you is that, it, A, it's on, but then you can add and delete the areas where, and you can do multiple areas, I think, where you want to... Uh, where you want to host your private data, you know, that, that data that you have, maybe sensitive information or personal information. So we've just selected, uh, we selected this and you add it. So we've just selected a folder on the desktop called Data Shield Docs. So I mean, you can call it whatever you want. Um, there's nothing in there right now. Uh, we're just kind of testing this out here, but you can really kind of add and delete all the areas you want to protect the data. Uh, by default, um, the software does uh, choose your, your the My Document section of your PC there. So by default, it'll do that. And again, you can change and add it up there. Um, down here in the middle here, um, again, by default, uh, it's going to protect um, or check off, you know, office documents, all those Word, Excel, Microsoft documents, images, uh, audio files, and video files. And so I just unselected audio and video because I don't have anything in there that I would uh, deem worthy to uh, protect or whatnot. But you can, again, you can add extensions, delete them, edit them in here. So you can uh, tell it exactly what you want to uh, protect. And then down in the bottom here, um, you can actually give permission to applications to go ahead and access that information in those folders that you specified up at the top here. So um, allow safe applications to access protected data. You have it on. You actually you could, you could turn it off if you didn't want to. By default, Panda has deemed um, safe applications, and these are the ones, and they've turned them on. So right below that, though, you will also see a, um, an item here where it says, you know, when an unknown application, not one of the ones that's known that you've allowed access to, tries to access your data, either ask you or deny it. So you can kind of choose what the setting there is to, uh, to do, whether it's going to ask you and, grant, and have you grant permission or if it just denies it right off the bat. So uh, again, this is a tremendous feature uh, within Pandas Global Protection. Again, like I said in the beginning, you know, with all the the ransomware and malware attacks out there, people stealing data, uh, you've got to protect your data on your on your PCs, uh, your multiple PCs, because people have multiple PCs these days, and really kind of uh, take care of that data. Uh, and protect it. And so data, uh, data shield here for Panda's uh, global, global protection suite really does the trick here. We love it. Um, and it is certainly a great feature 
uh, within the, within the software there. So definitely, get you you know, those that is one of the one of the feature sets and the products that you definitely want to load and install and use when you uh, buy this product. So again, folks, that wraps up the uh, short video today on Data Shield from Pandas Global Protection. That's included in that suite. Again, down at the bottom here below below the videos, you can. Click on the links down there, uh, start that 30-day money-back guarantee, that free trial if you want to, or just get down, down and, and uh, purchase the product. There are discounts there of up to 50% on the product today. Again, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red virus symbol there in the upper left-hand corner of the video there at the end. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up, and please check out our other videos in channel in the playlists uh, where we walk through and review other security vendor software packages for both consumers and small businesses. Uh, and that's it, folks. So this is, uh, again, John with GetPCSecurity.com. Stay safe, and thanks for watching the video today.